Hey, this is Bobby from Ragged Poet, making a long time no video video. Um, I haven't made a video for ages because I don't really know what to say and um, people keep asking and then I get all start doing one and I've made a few and I haven't uploaded them because, I don't know, you just get a kind of, I don't know, maybe an apathetic, despondent, I don't know. But I've been having lots of requests to do a pen video. And so this is a kind of unboxing, which I've already done because I made the video, then didn't upload it. Um, and a response to a video by a great YouTuber in the pen community called Chris Sayans. And I'll link her video below. And she talked about pen buying habits and how we buy and what we buy and I mean it applies to everything that we're into you know tarot decks whatever clothing what you know that's to me anyway um but first of all I wanted to show you this pen which is from Lucky Star Pens I've got an awkward filming thing here because um just, I have no way of holding my phone camera up to do films properly so and this is the a beautiful pen which I ordered from Lauren Elliott of Lucky Star Pens I wanted to show you the gorgeous packaging um months ago but because of the pandemic and I it came with an ink too a special Lucky Star Colorverse ink but because of the pandemic it took ages and ages to come and then it got stuck over here and because we couldn't have non-essentials because we're in lockdown now um, it wasn't allowed to be delivered for ages and anyway it came the other day and I did an unboxing but I didn't as I said I didn't upload it because the phone kept moving and but this is the beautiful pen it's made by Franklin Christoph for in collaboration with Lauren I can't remember who made the acrylic maybe it was Franklin Christoph but I've got a feeling it wasn't look at that now, I bought this pen because if you know me, you know I love astrology, I love stars, I love the moon, I'm ruled by the moon, and I love the night sky. So, you know, you can't go wrong with a pen like that, can you? Oops, oh, sorry, pen, dear me. That's not a good way to treat a new pen. So I'm going to lay that down there. I like, lie there. It's rolling away. So, pen buying habit. Oh, and it came with a guitar pick, which is very cool because I. Do play a little bit of guitar and a sticker and it also came in this Franklin Christoph pouch which all Franklin Christoph pens come with sometimes they're leather but I like the vegan ones um, okay so I love Franklin Christoph pens I like them because they're normally this is one of their bigger ones I think this is a model 46 or 45 probably a 46 this is Mostly they're, they're pretty small. I mean, I've got quite small hands. Um, let's have a look. So, so this is a Conklin Durograph. So this is one of their bigger pens. A lot of the ones I've got are quite a lot smaller than that. And there's a Lamy. So, yeah, so you can see it's a little bit smaller than the Lamy All Sport, All Star, whatever it's called. Um, but I love them. Just and they have stunning nibs. Look at that. If you can see that. Oh, cameras on phones are not that great, eh? It's hard to see what I'm filming. Oh, I love the grip section in that beautiful gold. And I think I chose a medium nib for that pen. It was a limited edition, so. So why, how, what do I buy pens? What makes me buy pens? Well, in um, Chris's video, she'd been watching some marketing thing, and it was talked about. She said people about people who buy from the heart. I guess you could buy from the head or the heart or whatever. Maybe if you buy a box of a hundred bits, you're buying from the head. I don't know. <laughs> I think I buy everything pretty much from the heart, unless it's food. And then I guess it comes from the the tongue. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> But um, so, but there's different ways of buying from the heart. 
and I buy because I have that because obviously I've got a collector's mentality or I wouldn't have so many pins so many tarot decks so many books I like collecting things and I like being surrounded by things I love beautiful things and um, so there's the aesthetic of buying as well but that's also the aesthetic side of the buying is obviously connected with the heart too like for example anyone who knows me knows how much I love winter so I would buy a pen because it reminds me of winter aesthetically but because my heart loves winter like this one of my crabs this is a Bennu I think it's a relay I've got a few Bennu pens they're made in Russia I love them um, and this one is I think it's called snow season it's just snowy it's snowy I've got another one um, which is charging up a little bit uh, called snowy peak which is glow-in-the-dark pen um, but that's my so I bought that because I love winter um, and I've got a couple of other pens that remind winter this one here this reminds me of winter and Christmas this is a Delta journal this company I've had this a few years it reminds me of Holly and Ivy and Christmas because I love Christmas time um, this is a stunning pen I really love this pen it's got a beautiful I don't know if it's celluloid but it's like a matte this company don't make pens anymore but they were in, in Italy and it is a gorgeous I just love it so much and so that's one of my favorite pens um this is a Conklin Durograph and it's called Dark Forest and I bought this one because I love fairy tales and dark forests and this pen reminds me of those very things so like the night sky one that's very very fairy tale um and astrology like then talking of astrology I have my my planets pens which are made by a company in Taiwan called Fine Writers International and so there's five planets here so we've got Mars and we've got Jupiter and we've got Saturn and we've got Venus and what else have we got we've got Venus Mars Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury. So they're, and these are kind of cool because they have little planet round balls on the clip and they're demonstrators. So they're gorgeous. I got these a few years ago when I was in England. They made, they've remade, um, Look how the nib thing me reflects a little picture. See so down there. They remade these pens. They have big, um, juicy nibs, and they've got. They come with a converter, but I think you can eyedropper them. Pretty sure I did eyedropper one, but they've got. Um, they all come with a converter. And they're, as I said, they're called the Planets and they're from Fine Writing International. And I fell in love with those because I like the Planets. So I collected them one at a time. I wanted to get the set. Um, this pen is a Visconti Rembrandt. And I was in England after I lost my mum. And I went back to the town on a really cold, wintry day, drove, driving through all the fens in East Anglia and drove to Bury St Edmunds, where across the country from Mums, and they had a moon exhibition, which I went to. And Bury St Edmunds is where my firstborn, Tabby, was born. And it's got a lot of... That, I love that little town. We used to go there all the time when I was pregnant with Tabby for scans and everything. and 
it's just got a really old part. It's a really just a really nice little town. It had some lovely shops. And I remembered they used to have this uh, this pen shop, a fountain pen shop. And I found it and I bought this pen because it was black and like the sky. And it's actually, well, it reminds me of Chiaroscuro, which is a Rembrandt, a very, um, Rembrandt used that style a lot. It means the light and the dark, showing the light, the light showing the dark. It's that painting when you have dark shadow brings out the light. Like here, you can see. So, and also I think this is the Ponte Vecchio. It's got the bridge, the Visconti clip have the bridge of um, in Venice, which is also a place I love and have good memories of. So that's, and these pens have a magnetic clip. So that's got a lot of memories. And that was a fantastic, beautiful day. And then I went to my son's, who's now back in New Zealand. But this pen has huge, massive memories for me. And when I pick up this pen and look at it, it takes me right back to that time. Um, and then I've got my, I've got a lot of Lamy pens. Well, a few, all sport, all star and safaris this is the all black one which i didn't buy because of the all blacks but i bought it because i like black and it, it is all black that was a limited edition one i think um this was a limited edition vibrant pink one i bought that on because things are a bit late coming to using it was a special one that year i think it was 2017 or 2018 and i bought it on fountain pen day but i got a ding in it in the clip there you go wear and tear these do ding easily but i don't mind i still like it and i have quite a few safaris in different colors again because i like the colors and the way they look and they actually write quite well now i bought a few day nib for one of my safari pins from ebay it took me ages to get it working but i finally managed and that was good too. And it's very easy to change a nib on Lamy Safari. You just do it with a bit of tape. So I've got quite a few Lamy's, more than there. Um, I think I've got some pastel coloured ones. I've got a white one and I've got a black one. I've got a graphite one. I've got a brown one actually. I've got a special brown Lamy Safari. Let me see if I can find that one because I bought that as an act of self care. And trying to learn to love myself again right i bought it no before i lost mum i bought it after when i had a house flood i think or just before that i was going through a really hard time anyway that year and it's um this one lami line friends and it's it comes in a tin a little bear which also reminds me of my mum because she used to go to this shop in england called dickens and jones and like Liberty and they always used to have special teddy bears at Christmas and things and she always used to get us something when we were little and it was always the colours were like red and brown so this is a leaflet about it so it's done with these line friends people and they, this is the the little set so you get the pen and you get two different teddies so the teddies go on the pen you can sit one it's so cute look at that you can see the pen teddy on the pen that's that pen that teddy or the other one catches onto the clip you just slide it into the clip or oh, slide it onto the clip rather not on into the clip like that I'll do it for you. And then you've got a pen with a teddy on it. <laughs> oh, no. So I haven't used this one because, um, I don't know, I don't want to trash it, but I do love it. It's very unusual and I think it looks really cool with a black pen. So I do love that pen. Poor old Juju's crying. Um, and again, that was a real nostalgia kind of boy when I saw that I had to have it um, I also so I have my 
Twisbees. I have a lot of Twisby Ecos and Eco Tees. There's just, oh, these are my, I love um, rickshaw bags, pen cases. I love them. And because, you know, I love cats, this is my crazy cat one. So I like the colours of these with the yellow lining. So I keep these ones in there. They're not my normal colours. I mean, I'm not a bright colour person. But when they brought out the coral one, I already had this turquoise one, which is a really long and go Twisby one. And when they brought out this coral eco tea a few years ago, I saw, I took a photograph and it was of a sign by the sea and it had these two colours in it. And I was using the coral, the turquoise pen at the time. I saw the coral one and I wasn't going to get it because I don't like the colour coral much. And I thought, oh, don't know, it's a sign. So I had to get it. And that's just an old pink one. I think I've got that in England, but I've got lots of these. I've got, um, they've got the transparent ones. I've got nearly all of those, I think. And I've got um, just a plain demonstrator one. I mean, everyone knows what Twisby's, they're all pretty much the same. The Eco T's got a three, um, a three sided cap as opposed to the six sided one on the Eco. So that's my Twisbees. I also have a collection of Quebeco Sports, <laughs> which I think is so cute. I love them. I got quite a few of these years ago. I bought a batch um, on eBay, um, and I wasn't sure if they were going to be genuine or not, but they are because they just seem too cheap, and they were free shipping. I think they came from somewhere in Europe, but I, again, I got them when I was in the UK because they were a lot, lot, lot cheaper there. Um, and then I got addicted to them, so I've been—I haven't got none of these. I, I've got a—I've um, only got one aluminium one. These are all just you know, all the plasticky kinds, but I've got these. Um, I can't remember what they called them now. But they're like, what did they call this set? They again, it was a set that collector mentality, and they feel really nice. I can't remember what they called these frosted. I think they were called the frosted ones. So they're like papaya and coconut, and I think that one's melon. I can't remember what the others are. Probably banana. Um, the very first one I got, I think, was a bright pink one, which is being cleaned. It's not here. And the second one I got was this clear little classic Twisby, um, Rebecca. Um, but I just really, really like them. The only thing about these is I've had to do a lot of work. When I first started getting pens this time around, which was about, I don't know, six years ago or so, because my other pen, my older pens were when I was a teenager and like young 20s well I've always had them but I didn't I think I got a couple of llamas over the years but then I discovered pens on the internet and um a few years ago that's probably my favorite one that new lilac one that came out but I um I always bought I like broad nibs. I have big, quite big writing and I liked broad nibs. So I used to buy really big nibs and I started buying some of these with double broad nibs. And oh my goodness, Twisby, this cup was bought for me many, many years ago by my my ex-husband's brother. He used to buy lovely china, but I keep it. It's got a big crack in it. I had to glue it together, but it's a nice pen holder. Um, I can't throw away cracked cups if they've got sentimental value. So anyway, the um, the double broad on the Twisby have a terrible baby's bottom issue and you have to do a lot of work on them. And then even the broad, so a lot of these I've spent hours and hours working on them because they would just skip and skip and skip. But I bought one now which one was it it was from gold spot it was a special is a navy blue one i think it was this one yeah i don't normally buy i wouldn't have bought this if i'd known it had gold spot written on it i don't like advertising pens but um anyway 
I bought this pen and it wrote perfectly out of the box and I was amazed. I haven't got my loop here at the moment, but it is a B nib. And it, so I think they've changed their nib manufacturer or something because this pen wrote perfectly out of the box. And when you buy these pens, they don't usually come to a clip. You have to buy the clip separately. Um, but again, I got a load of them off eBay or somewhere. But you can see I've got this, like my wintery collection. These are my like icy wintery pens. I like those. And the black one, I guess that's a wintry one. I haven't got a gray one. I need a gray one. Um, I like cold looking pens. So that's those. And I use them. I mean, I just love using them. These are, I like these because they have a tiny, I don't know if I bought, you can get these tiny little converters or they do their own cartridges. Ooh, it's got a squeak. And you can eyedropper these too. You need a bit of silicon grease on it. But, um, yeah, so this one's got a little converter in it that I bought a few of. these, And these ones fit in the Mini Franklin Christoph pens too, in case you're trying to find a converter for those little baby Franklin Christophs. So it holds the tiniest amount of ink, you can see, like, which is great because you just can write a letter or two. I've been writing a lot of letters lately after Inco Rhymo. You can write a couple of letters and um, use up ink and then swap for another colour of ink because I have a lot of ink as well. So I can't remember what I've covered now. Mainly, as I said, nostalgia and aesthetics, things that remind me of something else, things that are symbolic, like the winter thing and the Christmas pens. And then, then there's a the collector's mindset, like, you know, like what's those biscuits they used to have in the UK? You can't just have one. There used to be a thing, once you start, you can't stop. Like, you have one, and you go have another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Well, these are just a little bit like that. Um, and I've got pens that remind me of, like, magical things. Because um, I love all things like that. I've got a pen, which I'll go and get it, actually. Oh, no, it's not. I'm not going to go and get it right now. I'll do a video about that. It's another Bennu pen. Um, I've got a couple. But it glows in the dark. Um, so there we go. A pen video about why I buy the pens I buy. I think I've covered all the reasons I buy them. I mean, <laughs> if I bought a pen and it didn't write nicely, I wouldn't buy any more. I think I've got a sailor in here. Yeah, I do. Hawaiian Ripe. Now, I love these... I don't have hardly any sailor pens, but I do love the size of, this is the um, Sephora, I think it's, what else do they call it? It's got another name. Slim, Pro Gear Slim, that's it. And I love the size of this pen. So if I put it next to uh, Twisby, you can see, but when you, take the, twi I keep calling it Caveco Twisby, sorry. So when you take them out like that, they're both the same size. But these pocket pens are great, that they come into a full size pen. Uh, so if I get a Twisby, oh, the Lamy, most people have got a Lamy. You can see how small it is compared to the Safari. Now, I mean, I really like this pen. I have a, another uh, one I don't like, which is bright pink. Um, and I've got a couple more, but they're nearly all, I think I've got four all together and, and I think two or three of them are Pro Gear Slims because I love the actual size. What I don't like about Sailor Pens is they're stupid prices and they keep making all these different colours and swapping caps and bits over and I think they like Franken Pens. Um, but I think they are a lot of money considering how many they buy out, they come out with. So I've deliberately avoided them because I don't want to get that collector's mentality with sailor pens. I really don't. I got this one um, with a special deal, um, which is the only way I would have got it, really. But I do really like it. It is a really nice pen. It's got a kind of sun-dawn sunrise. It's 
it reminds me of that first light and the low winter sun, which is, again, the reason I buy pens is because of what they remind me of. Um, and price-wise, I guess I could buy one sailor pen for all of these. But if I put these in my bag and I lose it, I'm not too bothered. I wouldn't take out a pen that I can't replace. Probably, I have done actually, but usually when I put pens in my bag, I take pens out that if I do lose them, it's not going to be a massive loss or they can be replaced. Because we always think it won't happen to us, but it does. So, I try to, um, I don't have any really expensive pens. Um, I don't know what my most expensive pen is really. I can't think. Probably that Sailor. Or maybe the Visconti. I'm not sure. But these are like, I don't know, 20, 25 bucks or something. And, I mean, it adds up when you get a lot, but then I, you know, you, you don't buy them all at once, you buy them over years. So. Oh, I have a Twisby Draco, which I made a video of, and then accidentally deleted the video before I uploaded it. So I had to clear my laptop. That's another thing that happened. I've made quite a few videos, but I had to clear my laptop, because you know they only have those tiny little drives now. Um, and little flash drive things. And it was not working, and I use it for my job for working all the time. So I had to delete loads of stuff, and I accidentally deleted my iMovie library, the videos that I've made, including the unboxing of that Lucky Star pin and um, the Twisby Draco unboxing. I'm not sure where I put the Draco. Draco is beautiful. Oh my god, I wasn't going to get that pen, but it's so gorgeous. Man, is that nice. And it feels so beautiful. Twisby's write really well usually. I've only had a bit of an issue with a stub and a Twisby Go. I don't like the Twisby Go. But um, anyway. So. Have my pen buying habits changed? Yeah, I think so. I mean. I still collect Twisbys. Unless I bought out a colour I really didn't like. That I wasn't going to get that coral one. Um, I probably would, not buy the Quebecos again, like if I was going to buy pens now, I, I, well, unless, I mean, because I got this deal on eBay, like they were, they were just ridiculous price, I had to get them, and I asked them if they were bona fide, and I had some llamas as well like that, it was a place in Germany I think I got them from, and they had really good deals on whether they were closing down. It might have been a shop that was closing down, but I checked them out before I bought them. They were definitely all genuine. They came with the stickers and the boxes. And so, but normally I probably wouldn't do that. I mean, I wouldn't normally buy four, five Kawekos at a time. Um, but if I saw a pen that I loved and... I know Chris said she really, she likes demonstrators and she only really uses demonstrators. And I went through a stage where I really liked demonstrators and I've got a few. I mean, I've got a, I've got the, I've got the Lamy one. I've got Twisby one. I've got a Twisby 580 one. I've got a mini Twisby one. I think I've got a Conklin Durograph one. I've got a Caveco one. Well, these are sort of demonstrators as well. And then these ones. But I like the other ones too. I like the solid body pens too. So I'll have to make a video about how I choose ink for pens next. But I think I've rambled on enough. So I'm going to thank you for watching. And I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I hope you enjoyed that. And sorry if it's a dodgy angle of filming. <laughs> okay, take care. Stay safe. Bye.